So I got my uh, first generation Apple TV to run Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard. It's fully patched up to 10.6.8. <clears throat> and this is the uh, what it looks like when it boots now. I completely deleted the native ATV OS and just I restored a, a working 10.6.8 Mac OS 10 image to uh, the internal drive. Oh, I swapped the internal PATA drive it, it, with a converter. It's now got a solid state drive, which is why the uh, really old Apple TV first generation can boot so quickly now. Uh, it's pretty stable. There's a couple bugs on 10.6 on the Apple TV. Uh, obviously, it's unsupported. So, um, but this is the boot cycle. It, as you can see, it actually, I just restarted, boots up pretty quick. Um, let me log in here. I can remember the password. Yeah. So as you can see, it's uh, it's it's booting in. Kind of wild. You can run Mac OS on. I mean, I had I had that that thing ran 10.4 Tiger basically in a locked down front row was basically Apple TV OS 1 through firmware 3, I think. But uh, it is crazy. I mean, full on, full functionality, you know? It remembers what windows I left open. Here's the about this Mac for the Apple TV. And as you can see, 10.6.8. One of the things that's glitched is the time. I had this working earlier. But for whatever reason, it just keeps jumping around. Um, I saw someone actually was able to solder another stick, another module of RAM onto the main board of one of these things. So he has 512 megabytes. Uh, but again, this is a really old image. I haven't used this in forever, but since there's a revival going on with Apple TVs and um, Apple TVs and getting Mac OS back on them again. All these, you know, 15 plus years later, something I messed with as a, a younger person and it's been fun to get, go back. I have 10.4 Tiger and 10.5 Leopard on other drives that I can boot externally, but 10.6.8 is the latest Mac OS I think anyone's able, even been able to get to run on the, uh, the Apple TV first generation, so. Um, I also removed the airport card and I have an SSD coming that fits the mini PCI port on the main board of the logic board of the Apple TV. I don't know if it'll actually, I could get it to work, but it'll be interesting to see because it would be that much faster than going through the PATA controller over a converter to SATA SSD, which is what's in there now. And it was kind of a pain in the neck to even get it to the bottom back on and get it to stay because with the converter, it's too bulky. So I had, I had to remove the fan as well, actually. It doesn't seem to overheat at all either. So I um, really don't even need the fan. So anyways, this is uh, Mac OS 10.6.8 running on uh, Apple TV first generation.